The opening part of comment 1145 um, reminds you of which adjustments to the algebra of something you have to graph um, cause which sorts of transformations. So the idea is that if you had y equals x squared, it would just be standard graph with five key points. But what if it was y equals 2x squared? Or what if it was y equals x squared over 3? Or what if it was y equals x squared minus 1? Or what if it was y equals x squared plus 1? Or what if it was y equals negative x squared? So all these little simple changes. Don't wreck the shape of the graph. It's still a parabola, it's still a bucket. They just um, do something to this. If you're timesing, that's a stretch. So for example, everything would be twice as high as it is. So that would become this high, that would become this high. If it's a division, it's a um, uh, contraction. Um, so for example, if it was a horizontal contraction, that's got a current x coordinate of two, it would become three times um, closer in. So that's currently two, so it becomes two thirds. Oh, sorry, yeah, it become two thirds. Minus one, that would make just a ten become a nine, and it become a seven. So that just lowers stuff down, it moves it down. So that might go there, and that might go there. So you're subtracting one. Add one is the reverse. That would lift things up. So that would go there, that would go there. And finally, this is a reflection. So if there's just a simple dash, not a minusing of a number, but just a simple dash, it's a reflection. So things go to the other side of an axis. Now, um, it's not always quite as easy to see, to pick these. A classic example is 2 over x. If it was 1 over x, it would be this standard graph um, with these six key points. Um, so how does that relate to that? Well, the key is just to imagine that that came from the fraction as well. So in other words, that would be a stretch. Now the later part of comment 1145 um, is about changes made inside and outside the brackets, um, and they are in uh, a couple of other separate videos.